what's up guys welcome back for the Yu-Gi-Oh pro dual video next match cross balanced cup still four matches remaining if i counted correctly um left side here um upper left corner i guess we have um you know two kind of big decks both madolce versus from 10 2020 by the way versus uh pendulums right pendulum magicians from um or at least a Dream Master Rule 4 featuring Electromite and Triple Astrograph, a Sorcerer, and of course Double Iris Magician. So basically almost at their prime. And so yeah, which deck has the advantage? Then, um, well, we saw that, uh, you know, the, 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 the votes from the previous video is that about 66% of the people see the, the Master Rule 4 pendulums uh, taking it over Madolce. Um... Uh, I kinda can agree somewhat, um, Madolce is of course very powerful, uh, a lot of one card, multiple combos, um, I, I mean for me it's like kinda like 50-50, going first is obviously very important and um, yeah the side right, the side is going to be very crucial, especially for Madolce um, being the Master Rule 2020 deck. This is a problem though, um, Baku Baguska, <laughs> what can I do? I, I, well, unless I'm missing something, but you know, there's there's nothing I can do. Um, well, yeah. So I guess that's an instant loss. Not sure, I, I think I have a couple of side deck cards against that, but you know, that's not really the most common rank 4 exceed that pendulums make, right? Then again, if it's like a, you know, a win condition or could be a win condition, you should make it. <laughs> and that's what happens here. Um, uh, so yeah, this is pretty much game right. Again, Pendulum Mechanic, even though the Pendulum Mechanic is Master Rule 4. Decoy Talker basically to get rid of, you know, like, um, what is it called? The Absolute? Is it Absolute Dragon? I believe the name is. I'm not sure about the correct name, but you know, basically getting Vortex or something on your side of the field. Um, but yeah, anyway, Venom, yeah, the deck still has X to Venom, a very uh, disgusting card, kind of copies basically every monster, but you know, most of the time you'll be copying your Electromite to get the uh, beneficial pop plus trample damage, right? Um, you know, when, when uh, I believe the, the fusion also states that when he is phased upon the field, every monster on your side of the field does trample damage, so attacks over defense. Okay, so game number two, I go first, and, well, yeah, I, I think this was the only play I could make, uh, you know, this, I guess the standard opening of uh, going for Glass of Flay, using the effect, setting up one Madolce in the graveyard, but lose to Ghost Ogre, and that's a problem. Um, well, then again, okay, th uh, three sets and one Ash Blossom, so I was like, okay, it's not that bad, right? Especially with um, the sets being the, the Judgments, again, very strong against the potential big Pendulum Summon. And uh, Impermanence also. And Impermanence definitely helped out. The Field Spell. Ah, oh, the Field Spell was sweet. Again, uh, Sep kind of, you know, making the... Um, um, what is it called? Petting Sessor Life. And uh, this should be an OTK. Okay, if, if it wasn't for Ghost Ogre. Ah, oh, again the Ghost Ogre. Oh my god, come on. Again the Ghost Ogre. Um, so yeah, but yeah, again, I have the the, the Ash Blossom right, so I feel kind of safe for something like Wavering Eyes. Who knows, Wavering Eyes into Astrograph, you know, for the draw and Astrograph uh, drop, that could be uh, could be crucial. But uh, again, matter of time that Madolce top decks the one card, either Angeli or Putting... S uh, no, I, th I think I have a monster in the graveyard, right? So Petting Sessor is not a top deck, but again, Hootcake also a top deck, or would have been a top deck, but um, unless I missed something, wasn't able to go for a game. Ah, yeah, yeah, and uh, Messenger Lato was level 3, so I wasn't able to go for Tiramisu, but that's all okay. I have Sis Start, and of course, the, uh, the Omni Negation Trap, right? I'm not going to make the same mistake as in the last duel. So I can negate indeed uh, spells and or traps. So evenly matched, definitely a strong card against Matolche. Um, when like Matolche go first, set up class of flay, sis start, whatever. Something like, you know, um, evenly matched is definitely strong against that. Um, so yeah, there is indeed the Tiramisu Salon. Saloon is indeed going to trigger, setting up the field spell. But yeah, yeah, okay, this should indeed be more, well, yeah. I think I had like, like other plays um, featuring Ticket as well. But doesn't matter, I have enough to attack for game. We knew it was the game right there. So game number three. And uh, I did side again to Heavy Storm Duster. You know, just get rid of the Pendulum skills, right? Even though the Pendulum deck is quite scary with Astrograph Sorcerer, uh, Double Iris, um, Purple Poison, right? Um, 
So yeah, uh, impermanence again on the Electromite and immediately going to try to get an extra draw here. It works out. No hand traps luckily. Um, so Hootcake hits the board for Messenger Lato. Uh, we see here a Ghost Ogre lurking in the, you know, the, the background in the hand. Um, again, my uh, move here with um, the Padding Sessor. Again, like basically the standard combos, but here, ha, <laughs> one of the three call by the Graves and, you know, again, the... the uh, the Ghost Ogre would have been very crucial, but Call by the Grave just says no. Triple Call is just far too, um, you know, important for combo or heavy combo oriented decks. So Chocolate hits the board, and this should be game, right? Yeah, it should be. So, um, uh, Salon again for another Messenger Lato. I should be able to trigger the Chocolate again, indeed, for the extra beneficial special summon. I think I should be able to... Um, you know, get a monster back to my graph, uh, yeah, from my graveyard back to my hand because the field spell is, uh, you know, on the field and with glass souffle, that is. Um, but th yeah, okay, it's not needed. That's uh, fine as well. More than enough to attack for games. So, Madolce is leading, right? 2 2 1. But again, Pendulums have the, um, you know, I guess, have the advantage going first. And uh, I see my opening hand, and I was like, okay, this is good. Ash Blossom for potential Wavering Ice or, you know, Joker, whatever. I see Call by the Grave for the potential. Um, Ghost Ogre, I guess, or maybe Maxi, who knows, and uh, Extravagance, you know, for the, the extra draws. Um, I still had Knights in there, not sure if that was a correct move. Um, probably not, especially going second, but that's how it is. So again, going second here, and uh, that does... Oh, okay, yeah, Double Wavering. <laughs> okay, yeah, what can I do against Double Wavering? I had the Blossom for the one, but uh, yeah, two Wavering is definitely so strong against... Uh, or at least, you know, in a deck that has the ability to tutor out uh, Double Iris um, and, you know, like Triple Astrograph to gain the beneficial pluses off of that. So... The rank 7 is indeed going to hit the board. Another... Ah, okay, yeah, because of Deco Talker hitting the board eventually. So, you know, okay, getting off or getting up another Electromite kind of seems okay. You'll be ending with, indeed, the Trap Guard. There it is, absolute. So, Deco Talker hits the board. Again, keep in mind, this is Master Rule 4. So, you need the extra monster zones. That Omega is also strong, right? Like, revealing Petting Sessor. You can just chain Omega and, you know, kind of snipe or maybe snipe away the Petting Sessor in my, uh, you know, in my hands. So Vortex indeed negates the extravagance. Um, well, yeah, we, we know, right? I mean, I mean, the Omega is also there, uh, and the Trap Guard as well. So at least giving the the Pendulum deck at least two pops uh, with the Purple Poison and um, yeah, the 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 Trap Guard himself, of course, right? So yeah, nothing I can do about that. The Failure is not going to do anything. Deco Target is also on the field, and of course Vortex could potentially negate that as well. Uh, Called by, I believe, yep, indeed, is going to get negated by the Vortex, and the the scores will be equalized. So that means that we are going into a game number five, and of course, I I want to go first, and I should indeed have the advantage, right? Going first with my back row, triple solemn, triple heavy storm duster, some hand traps, um, extravagance, which here. Indeed gets negated. Uh, so again, I, I can potentially have my full combo here. Depends on hand traps. Sadly, no call by for the, uh, you know, the immediate or sure. Um, or just that I'm sure that my plays go through. But again, another Ghost Ogre. So both Blossom and Ghost Ogre. Ah, that's, that's just far too strong. And especially this follow-up. Uh, I can go for one monster negation with the impermanence on Joker. I could potentially go for a second monster negation with, you know, like Electromite. If the deck is able to go for that, which it should you know, with chron uh, Chronograph, with Astrograph, um, multiple extenders, you know, the deck is, is, is quite sure that it can go for Electromite, but this is risky, um, you know, obviously I'm going to negate the Electromite, the Pendulum deck can indeed set up the Pendulum scale, go for still a Pendulum summon with two high level monsters, both dark, so again, I guess kind of taking the gamble, uh, you know, with the, the Starving Van and copying Electromite popping. And I feel that, you know, the deck needs to top like a Pendulum Magician here in order for it to use Wisdom Eye. And there it is, Harmonizing is, uh, it, well, it could have been any Pendulum Magician, right? Because, again, that lets, um, you know, the, the Wisdom Eye Magician trigger it, or trigger her, or his effect, um, to, you know, search out the uh, Double Iris. And as you know, Double Iris, put, I, I believe, it does, like, double damage on the monster when it attacks a like over a monster and again the fusion attacks over defense so ah that escalated quickly but i don't think there is anything i could do about that especially that last game um uh, yeah, double hand trap, Ash Blossom, and Ogre, right? Ogre to prevent, you know, the Madolce deck from uh, basically putting up its entire board and at least one or two extra negations. But 
that's how it is. So back to the right side of the bracket, we have, uh, you know, the, I guess, the small finals on the right side to know that the big finalist on the right side. So we have uh, King Dragoon, uh, Dragoon of Red Eyes versus um, Dinosaur. So both 2020 deck lists, but... Um, you know, Master Rule 4 versus Master Rule 5. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Liam signing out. Peace.